God is moving. Yeah. It's Young People Nation. Welcome to Young People Nation. Listen to us weekly as we commit to bring transparency, healing, and truth to the everyday situations in life that might bring you down. Join us for your weekly dose of inspiration. Thank you for listening to Young People Nation. Make sure you subscribe so you never miss an episode. And now, here's your host, Eugene and Donna Perry. Let's go. Christ is the foundation. Know his word gonna lead us. Know I'm already going. Taking steps I believe in. Giving guidance to the youth. Giving guidance to the lost. Give the world to the project. Lead them back to the cross. Hello and welcome to Young People Nation where we are just having fun and just God just grace us to connect with some amazing people. Oh, yeah. Yes, and today we have Team Hankerson. How y'all doing today? Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we doing All right. Doing good. Okay. Well, we have Miss Trishana, passionate. Wesby mm-hmm. Hankerson. Mm-hmm. I, I love oh, it. Yes, right. See, that, that's right. You got to put that Hankerson right there. <laughs> now, Miss Hankerson is an assistant pastor, mm-hmm. and she is huge in the community, creative writer. Mm-hmm. You are just gifted in a lot of areas. Thank you. And um, also, I um, see that you've been on many tours to include the BET uh, Music Award, and she's a counselor, she's a teacher, she is very innovative in the community. Yeah. And thank you for all that you do in the community. Thanks. Now, I love your motto, because this is not your first time with us. No. While I am yet living, I will give my all. That's right. That's powerful. Yeah, speaks for itself. Yes. And so thank you for your passion, because her her name, still played the guitar, right? Yeah. Okay. Did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so yeah. Because she, I remember when I first met her, and she was... You just flowed with Vanessa, and yeah. that flow was beautiful. Mm-hmm. And so passionate is because she, you are passionate. That's right. Okay. So we have Mr. Cortez. All right. Hankerson, but he goes by knowledge. Yeah. Right. That's knowledge. Right. Okay. Yeah. And we dyna- use that. Isn't that the truth? We, he um, is dynamic in the community. What is your 501c3 called? Uh, knowledge base mentor. Okay. Yeah. And this this gentleman has taken his life and turned around mentoring young men and and you have some young ladies as well, correct? That Just was, depends. That was that was once in a while, but um, we don't deal with the uh, young women. Okay, gotcha. Okay, so young men, because that is where it's at. It starts with the men, correct, sir? Correct. Okay, and so he's a family man. He's very intentional. I see he be helping his wife on Facebook. They be they, builder. You are very gifted in many areas yourself. So you all make an amazing team. <laughs> all right. So eventually, he's gonna have his own um, building, uh, building stuff. Yeah. Okay, see that? That's something that's already in the works. See, there you go. We need to talk right. about that. But see, I, I'm, I'm looking. At, I'm looking at him. I, I see him, and he is so gifted. So thank you for your entrepreneurship. Your pouring into our young men because they really, really, really need that. Thank you for being a present husband and father, yes. man yeah. of God. Yeah, right. definitely appreciate it. Yes. Right. Okay. So we're going to get started. Um, we met with this wonderful couple and um, talked about a lot of things um, dealing with mental health and the challenges that they have faced and some of the young people they've come across. And so in this session, we're going to be talking about the challenge um, and and how confusing things can, can get sometimes. So knowledge. Now, you have been connected with people in the streets a lot. Right. Okay. So talk to us about connection in the street versus being home. Oh, that's that's different. Mm-hmm. Cuz when you at home, you know you had a you had that um trying to see how to say it, you had that that strong home foundation. Mhm. Mm-hmm. That love that's there. Mhm. versus um outside. When you're outside, when you're dealing with the streets, it's 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 more you gotta fight. You gotta fight every day almost. Mm. You know, the love ain't genuine versus the love that's being genuine inside of the home. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, the discipline is different versus how it is at home. 
Talking about in the streets. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Right. So it's um it's it's totally different worlds, to be okay. honest with you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Certain things you know you could do at home that you can't do at home. Mm-hmm. Certain things you know you could do in the streets that you know you can't do at home, but mm-hmm. you could do do it in the streets versus at home. The stuff you could do in the streets, you know you can't do it at home. Mm-hmm. So it's it's like a it's a scale, you know. But yeah. uh but the the love the love, the loyalty that you have at home is it's hard to have that outside in the street though, because it's it's different. What's the attraction you guys to our young people and 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 um I almost call you Dr. Hankerson. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's coming. It's I got a little note that I like Dr. Hankerson. It's okay. coming. Um, it's um, um, what is the attraction you guys, you know, you talk, you deal with a lot of youth yourself. And I, I just think this, you guys make a dynamic team um, of how you all have been able to connect with a lot of the young people that's in games. Mm-hmm. Um However, they are crying out for help. But what's the attraction to the streets? Well, the attraction to the streets, like what he was saying, um, kind of reiterating what he was saying, if it's an if, if the love and the loyalty is at home, mm. if it's not at home, then they're looking for the streets to have it. Mm-hmm. Um, but not saying that the streets actually have it that way. You find unconditional love at home, but if you're not getting that at home, you're looking for unconditional love out in the streets. Mm-hmm. And you may not find that in the streets like you think. You know, if you've never had an example of love, um, all of us innately want love mm-hmm. um, to fill that void that we have, that void that God has placed in us to love him with. Mm -hmm. So when we don't find that at home, we seek for it, seek for connection, seek for um, someone to show us what that love is. Mm -hmm. And going out in the streets, you're looking for that, but they don't have that unconditional love that you're seeking for like God has or a parent may have mm-hmm. if that parent is present mm-hmm. and available mm-hmm. to deliver that. So once they get out into the streets, they're looking for that and they get a false sense of what love is. Mm-hmm. And that false sense can drive them to do things that are that are contrary to their humanity, contrary to morals, contrary to God's perfect plan. Okay. You get what I'm saying? It'll, yes. it'll cause them to have that and that's not love. There's more manipulation. There's more um, a perverse way of living. Um, it's more of why do I have to um, put myself at risk to receive the love that I'm looking for from mm-hmm, you? Mm-hmm, so mm-hmm. that's what um, people, when people are attracted to that false sense of love, it gets them, it pulls them into a world that is contrary to their best interests mm-hmm. or to their best living capabilities. So. Yeah, I know. I know the life. Um, some of the kids that I, I have associated with, which is unexplainable, uh, they come from a good home, they come from a good neighborhood, go to a good school, but because of their um, attraction for wanting to be accepted, mm-hmm. they will actually lower themselves to be discreet. Yeah, and uh, they, they'll pick up the lingo. Uh, they'll dr- they'll leave home uh, in a suit and change into different clothes, yeah. so they can sag and, 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 and so they can say, "Yo, man, I'm cool." All that this here, um, being a fraud, yeah. That 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 they'll attract that attraction, mm. and all uh, uh, cause, cause the kid was like that, come from good neighborhood and all like that, and uh, and he wanted to, uh. uh how you say front in front of his boys, and so he took a took a a, a lock and put it in a sock, and it was, was going to attack this other boy so he can get a reputation oh, in, in with the yeah, group. Nice <laughs> and, you know, and, 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 and the country boy, <laughs> country boy took it from him and, and whipped them. <laughs> so I came in there, and, and the kid had it knocked so over his head where he got beat up. <laughs> he got beat up by the boy. He he jumped. Wow. But you know that yeah. and you talked about that, mm-hmm. um, how you how you deal with young men who wanna pretend to get out yeah. there, but they're not 
the, that's not the real deal. Right. <laughs> Talk about that a little bit, if you don't mind. Yeah. Um. They call it um. They call it set tripping. Oh. Uh-huh. So basically, what that means is, if somebody come inside of somebody's neighborhood, and they have on, they have on a color they don't supposed to have on, mm-hmm. or they can, or how, let me use today's today's generation, how some of these kids now, knowing they're not affiliated, mm-hmm. right. but they would still try to, they'll go on, so they'll go on YouTube, they'll try to know the, know the signs, mm-hmm. right. um, learn the, learn the game signs, mm-hmm. um, what side the, um, the bandana goes on, mm-hmm. and then they'll go in, they'll go inside the neighborhoods, they'll try to get around these certain, certain type of people. Mm-hmm. It's just to seem like that's who they are, but then when they run into somebody that done been in, that I'm been in gang life um, for a while, you can easily pick them out. Basically, if I if I was to see somebody on the street and they have on a, like a red flag or something like that, mm-hmm. I'm gonna I, I'm gonna feel the need to kind of g check you. Meaning, what that means is is you got to give me some of the history, mm-hmm. right? And if you don't know that history. Is it could be a cost behind that. Mm. Mm. So now somebody could take take that flag that's hanging from you, mm-hmm. and which is it could be disrespectful as well, mm-hmm. right? But they could take that flag from you. They could find out a lot of information about that person, and word gets out across the nation. When I say across the nation, I mean to around the U.S. And there's always consequences behind it. Mm. Right. So, mm. but we'll get more into that. Yes. <laughs> and, and, um, and so you've been, you've been able to take your 501c3 and for the young men that's looking for a clear direction, like your wife was sharing, that they really want to do well and do better in life. So talk about your, your journey with the mentorship with these young men. Uh, the men... The mentorship, it was when I first started the mentorship. It was kind of, it was kind of struggle for a moment. Mm-hmm. But you know, I had um, I had some help from a lot of um, successful people um, that been doing it for years. Mm-hmm. That showed me the, the routes to go, like um, going to going to workshops mm-hmm. and learning from the workshops and then implement a whole plan for it. So once I did all of that, I seen where the need was mm-hmm. for the community. Like, man, these these young these young cats just they just they just act like a donkey out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's cause I know <clears throat> cause I know in the area that they have mental groups. Mm-hmm. But I was like as I started thinking, like I know they got the mentors, mentorship groups here, but mm-hmm. what are they doing? Right, mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. like literally, what are you doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hear people talk about them. I hear right. people get so so much to put them on pedestal, but what are you doing? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So right. I spoke with my my ex wife about it, and she told me she was like, "Yeah, it's a good idea. You should do it." I said, "Okay, cool." I ended up getting. Talk with my lawyer, like yo, I need mm-hmm. you to file me a five hundred one C three. So mm-hmm. I gave it a name for it. Um, I told it it's knowledge based mentoring basis. The acronym for basis believe, achieve, succeed, elevate. Yes. Mm-hmm. So got that joint started, and I got my. Uh, I got invited to come and speak. Speak to. Uh, I had to go speak. I forgot where I had to go speak. I had to go speak. So that's when I noticed there was a lot of young men there. Mm-hmm, a right. lot of them had us. St- they was out in the street. Mm-hmm. They was they had done got affiliated with gangs, mm-hmm. um, selling drugs, stuff like that. But during that time, once I got done speaking, 
they wanted to have, they wanted to talk to me separate because mm-hmm. a lot of stuff, a lot of these young people ain't finna just openly discuss mm-hmm. what they involved in. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. So, put them to the side, we started talking and to, I saw how it was going and really ran with it. And I started that back in 20, 2017 and I've been going. Good. That's good. That's good. And that's what we do have to be intentional about whatever God grace us to do, uh, because we don't know what life or who we're going to affect. And um, also, I want to ask you all, because you all have a wealth of um, experience and wisdom um, with, um, you know, bullying in school can be really rough, too, yeah. or, or mm-hmm. them being bullied on the streets. Right. Um, can you all share some of the, because uh, it, it's driven some kids to suicide, yeah. Yeah. unfortunately. So um, can you share some of your experiences with that or and so some wisdom you would recommend to parents what to watch out for? Because children just don't come and tell you things they sometimes. Don't tell you. So yeah. So I'll let my wife take the the bullet in school. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so um I'm now on an elementary school level mm-hmm. with my school counseling and I'm dealing out pre we're currently dealing with a fifth grader that is that knows so much about the gang life. Mm. Um, mm. He's not, I won't say he's in the gang, but it's almost like he's being groomed for it. Mm. Wow. Um, it is hard to, if the parent or the guardian isn't mature enough to hear my counsel mm-hmm. or hear what I'm trying to say, then the kids do get caught up in it, that life. Mm-hmm. Um, I won't say that I'm like every counselor. I try my best to empathize with what they may be going through. Mm-hmm. But, you know, when some parents enter in the school, they see, um, they try to create this perfect image of their family mm-hmm. Right. Um, instead of listening mm-hmm. to sound advice. So in one particular situation where I was trying to kind of educate the young lady on what's happening, it was more of defense mode on her side. Mm-hmm. I, he, he know how to read. He know how to do this. He talking about, it's, it was a bunch of def- defensiveness. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, everybody in the school is in the enemy. Some people are actually trying to ass- assist you in this journey because this journey is hard. Yes, you know, kids yeah, get right. caught up in things um, yes. that parents aren't aware of. And I try to empathize with that because my kids got caught up in things that I mm-hmm. weren't aware of. Exactly. So while I'm talking, yes. it was a more defense mode, but not listening to what I was saying, mm-hmm. or how she can help avoid those things for him. Mm-hmm. It's, it's little lingos and languages they p- pick up. I mean, it's stuff he was saying to me that I had to ask my husband about. Mm-hmm. And and we we became a team with that because I don't know anything about the gang life, but mm-hmm. it was certain things that he he was saying that my husband knew about. Mm-hmm. Now this is a fifth grader. Yes, he was saying oh stuff goodness. about guns and switches and stuff. And I said, "What is that?" I was calling my husband <laughs> like, "What is that?" I don't know. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. But he was so fluent in his lingo, like fluid. Right. Like, mm-hmm. I was like, man, this is this is crazy because he's he talks more fluently gang life than academics. Mm. Right. Um my God. But it's a fifth grader. That that's grooming. Someone is grooming him for that mm-hmm. life. It mm-hmm. starts from somewhere. Yes. And if you can get the small things and take care of the small things and pull them away from it, then they won't get caught up in it. But if they're being groomed for that gang life, those are what you call your drug lords, your mafia bosses, and mm-hmm. because they have so much knowledge in them from a young age mm-hmm. being groomed into this life that they become the the head honchos. Oh so if you don't catch them early, you gotta mm-hmm. catch them somewhere because it doesn't it doesn't start with the shooting on the streets. It doesn't start with them joining the gangs. It mm-hmm. starts from the grooming. Mm-hmm. The grooming part. Mm-hmm. Something's attracting them. Something is pulling on them. Something, mm-hmm. and then as parents, if we're not paying attention to the small details, mm-hmm. like pay attention to the small details, like them going in their room, shutting off all the time. Them, mm-hmm. um, the kind of friends that they speak to, what their interests are, what are they watching on YouTube? Not mm-hmm. just them being on YouTube, but 
it's small details that um, we don't pay attention to mm-hmm. everyday life. I remember asking God a long time ago, I was like, I want to write a certain kind of way and I, I'm not catching it. And I remember the voice of God telling me, you're not paying attention to the details. Mm. And when we go outside every day, we don't pay attention to the, how the grass grows or the flowers mm-hmm, right. come because we're so busy with our own agendas yes. most times that we don't pay attention to the details. So mm-hmm. what I tell parents most of the time, coming back to what I was saying, is pay attention to the details. Mm-hmm. See how they get up. See how they walk out your door. See who they talk to. See, you know, and that's how parents can really see what their children are into. Don't, I, a pastor once told me, I would rather you mess up being too much of a parent than being too less of a parent. That's good there. And that yes. was wisdom for me. Yes. Because I was like, I don't want to be a helicopter parent. I don't want to be too much. No, mm-hmm. be too much. Yes. Because if you mess up being too much, it's better than messing up being too less. That's good right yeah. there. Right. Yeah. Y'all know what? Yeah, we're, I like that. Were you going to yeah. say something? No, I was just saying, I, <laughs> okay. I like that right there. Well, I tell you, we're already at the end of session one. That's how this flows. And this was great information. Mm-hmm. Great information. Yeah. Um, we always um, thank you all so much for this first session. We always like to thank God because without him, we can do nothing and we are nothing. We also like to thank our sponsors because um, these are the people who have had our backs mm-hmm. since the very beginning. So thank you all so, so much. Uh, we never know who's listening, so we always like to give out the mental health hotlines. Um, there's the 988, that's a text 741 741, that's free 24 7 service. Mm-hmm. There's the NAMI, that's the National Alliance on Mental Illness. And uh, uh, please, everyone, keep in mind that September is. Um, um, Suicide Prevention Month. So please, like um, Dr. Wesby was saying, Dr. Wesby <laughs> Hankerson was saying, let me get it right, <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, for us to pay attention to details. Um, also, there's a 211, that's a community uh, resource number, that's 24 7. And if nothing else, 911. Please do not suffer in silence. Mr. Perry. Uh, well, each individual out there, Take time out to look in the mirror and see that man or woman in the mirror before you. Because you know what you did, you know where you're going, you know where you want to be. And you had to answer yourself truthfully, socially, what am I doing to get there? And in your deep thoughts, see yourself in the future where you want to be. This has been Young People Nation, and remember, there is always hope. Christ is the foundation, uh, know he's where it gon' lead us, yeah. know I'm already going, uh, taking steps I believe in, yeah. giving guidance to the youth, yeah. giving guidance to the lost, yeah. give the world to the project, yeah. lead them back to the cross, yeah. he the number one prospect, he the top, top boss, yeah. I was broke, I was empty, he the one that paid the cost, yeah. really thought that I was cool, yeah. there was nothing like the savior, yeah. now it's time for the truth, the whole world been waiting, hey. it's young people nation, yeah. it's young people nation, yeah. it's young people nation. Hey. It's young people nation. It's young people nation. It's young people nation. It's young people nation. The whole world been waiting. Whatever you going through, I know what he gonna do. Don't matter the circumstance, we going back to the room. Keep going, keep going. Let that seed keep growing. You need peace and we know it. Now it's time to live holy. Young people nation. You know what time it is. Young people nation. Get ready, the time is here. Get ready, we vibing here. We about to let God in here. Young people nation. It's young people nation. Yeah, do it for the heavens. You know where we going. Influenced by his love, you know we gotta show it. It's time to put the youth on to what God is doing. Cause I can tell you now, right now, that God is moving. It's young people nation.